So you know that B is the y-intercept of y equals mx plus B. That's the place where the line crosses the y-axis. But it's really important to understand why that it works like that. It's not that just someone decided one time. It's just that that's what happens when we look at the numbers. So there's a key idea when we're considering this question. Why is B the y-intercept of, of y equals mx plus B? And the key idea is that the x-intercept of a line or a curve is the place on the line where the x value is zero. And this is actually a really simple idea. Um, the the, the y-intercept is in the middle. It's not over here where the x is positive. It's not over here where the x is negative. It's right in the middle where the x value is zero. So we'll look at an example first, and then I'll look at um, just the general form y equals mx plus b. If we had the equation y equals 2x plus 5, if we wanted to find the y-intercept, we'd substitute x equals 0, because that's the place where x equals 0. And we get y equals 2 times 0 plus 5, but 2 times 0 is 0, so we have y equals 5. So that would give us a point on the line at 0, 5. That line goes like this. Okay. So this is the, the whole thing that happens, is when we substitute x equals 0, then just this part of the equation disappears because it's equal to 0. So the same thing happens if we just look at y equals mx plus b. If we want to find the y-intercept, we substitute x equals 0. So we get y equals m times 0, because I replaced my 0 with x with 0, plus b. And we get y equals b. So that means that the point... 0, B is the y-intercept. So I'm not going to sketch this one because we don't know if it's up high or down low. We don't know if B is positive or negative. But this is exactly the same thing happened here. When we substituted x equals 0, this first part of the equation is 0, so it's like it just goes away, and we get y equals B. So that's why B is the y-intercept of the line y equals mx plus B.